Hi, I'm Gabe with Precision Propeller of Newburgh, New York, and in this video I'm going to show you how to properly install your inboard propeller on your inboard shaft. What we have here today is I cut a piece of uh, shaft, tapered shaft. It's a one and an eighth. Also have an inboard propeller. It happens to be off of a ski boat. A key for the keyway, which I'll get to in a minute. A cotter pin a marker, and a set of jam nuts. So, what we have here is this shaft. One of the important things to understand is that you have a tapered shaft and you have a tapered bore on a propeller. So, <clears throat> when installing this, keep in mind, number one, you never want to have any type of grease or anti-seize because you have two machine parts, two machine tapers, and what keeps them together are the tapers. And by what I mean by it is that if you were to put the prop on the shaft securely, the prop would actually stay on without any hard, without any of the nuts. So what it is is the two tapered, the two machine tapers fit together to create a perfect fit. That's why you don't want any type of anti-seize or grease on the shaft. Uh, if you, the reason, one of the reasons why you wouldn't want it is because you need those two tapers to marry together. The anti, uh, the anti-seize or any of the grease or soap that I hear people putting on will actually create a barrier between the prop bore and the taper of the shaft. And what you don't want is any type of movement inside there. So, the best thing to do is just put it on dry. Okay? So, step number one is you have your shaft and you have your propeller. What you would do is put the prop on the taper without the key. And then what you do is you take a marker and you mark the back of the hub where it meets the shaft. Just put a little mark right there. Now I'll take the prop back off. As you can see, I have a mark right there where I, I put it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the key and put it in the keyway slot. Now the key has to have rounded edges on it. As you can might be able to see here, all the corners are rounded. You don't want a keyway that's got squared edges. Squared edges create uh, stress points in the shaft and in the, and in the propeller. Um, that is a whole other topic, but for, for this purpose of this video, try and remember to have a key that's got rounded edges and even rounded edges off on the ends, both sides. So, I'm going to take this key and put it in the keyway slot. Then I'm going to take the prop and line it up with the keyway slot and I'm going to make sure that the key doesn't ride up and I'm going to stick that prop right back on there and as you can see it matches right up to where I left that mark. The reason why we do this is because sometimes especially for purposes if you were if we were to shoot this where the boat was the shaft was actually coming out of the boat and it was secure a lot of times people have a tendency to put the key in there and then take the prop and just ram it up there and what happens is the keyway ends up riding right up on the sled there and what happens you can see that the keyway is actually slanted and so as I talked about earlier the biggest thing with the prop and the shaft is that you want to have both tapers touching and with the key being if it rides up on top, it's going to create, it's going to have a little bit of a wobble in it and it's going to create a little bit of a problem down the road. So you always want to make sure that the keyway sits right inside that keyway pocket. Then you take the prop and you run it right up and just make sure it matches the mark that you made. If it doesn't, take the prop off and do it again. So the prop is on. Now we have the shaft nuts, these are, these are called jam nuts. One is thicker and one is thinner. And we're going to get into that age-old debate of which one goes on first. So, 
A lot of people think that the nuts get set up where the large one goes on first and then the, the thinner one goes on afterwards. Well, that's incorrect. The correct way of putting them on is, is that you do take the large nut and you run it right up and you tighten the propeller nut using a crescent wrench or an adjustable and you tighten that good and tight then you take it and you back it off Then you take the thin nut, run that thin nut all the way down to the prop, and then tighten it. Now you're going to take the large nut, run it all the way down, and jam it against the thinner washer. How I'd like to tell people to associate it, or to kind of maybe understand it, is the thin nut actually acts like a washer in a nut and bolt setup. So the thin nut actually acts like a lock washer. So once you have that large nut on there, you tighten it up. There, there's, yes, there are torque settings for this, but you'll never achieve the torque setting on it. So the best thing you can do is get the prop to be held securely and tighten them, tighten them as tight as you can possibly put them on. The last step of the process is the cotter pin. There's different types of, there's different size cotter pins, there's different lengths, but typically if you go to your prop shop or uh, marine uh, store, there's, these uh, cotter pins are set up just for the shaft size. So in this case, I have this cotter pin that I already bent before, but you take the cotter pin and use a stainless steel cotter pin, because if not it will just rust and come out and you just slide it inside and then just bend it over just like this with a pair of pliers if I had a pair I would do it and you just bend it over and basically that's what it looks like when it's all done so again pretty simple key things to remember are do not put any grease or anti-seize on the shaft or inside the propeller hub because the best fitting props are the ones that are the hardest to take off Next time you take this prop off, if you have a struggling time to take it off, then, you may, then that means that you put it on correctly the first time. So no, no, uh, no grease, no anti-seize. And also remember the correct procedure for putting these nuts on is that in the end, the thin washer, the thin nut is on first and the large nut is on last. So if you have any questions or comments, you can always give us a call or email us. Find us on Facebook or go to our website at www.fixmyprop.com and look forward to more videos. Thanks.